Hey folks, another wee video, so not out camping tonight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a wee bit of work to my Anave Frontier stove. So I've been using this quite a lot. Uh, so it's obviously been out in all weathers, out in the rain and that, so you can probably see the top of it, it's looking a bit rough. Right, obviously I don't want to think to rust into oblivion. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to do a wee maintenance video for how to maintain your stove. So, basically, sandpaper, some rough stuff, smooth stuff, something to clear out the flue, eh, probably might need other tools as well. So, the whole thing kind of comes apart. Obviously, I'm not going to clean the inside. But I've also bought some uh, stove paint, so that just comes in a can. So, that's the stove paint there. I know my camera's mirrored, so it looks back to the front. But you can buy that, uh, you can buy it on Amazon, probably buy it in B&Q, buy it wherever. I think that was about 6 99 for a can. So, I think the one can will do enough, or it'll be enough. Right, it's heat resistant up to 600 degrees, black mat, but that'll obviously be the last thing. First thing I need to do is basically buff the whole thing down. So, basically, I've just got a, one of these wee wooden blocks, so it's just a case of basically buffing the whole thing down. So, I'll get started. I'm not going to... Eh, film this whole thing with buffing it down but it gives you an idea <laughs> of the to do it. Right, you could obviously use a, an electric sander for this as well but I'm going to buy a bit of elbow grease into it and do it by hand. Right, that's the outside all buffed down as you can tell by the colour of my hands. Right, but that's it all nice and smooth, got all the kind of grime off it, uh, any kind of excess, kind of rusty bits. So next up, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the, the flue out and we're going to buff that down as well. As well as buffing down the outside, we'll need to clean out the inside as well, as you'll see when I bring them out. Right, so these are the inside of the flues. So you can see the build up, right, that one's bad but wait to see the action. Right, so that one is well and truly, it's just totally blocked. So I'm glad I actually did this when I did, because I don't think there'd be any, I don't think there'd be any smoke getting out of that. Because eh, that flue is totally blocked. So, that's the next bit. I've basically, I've buffed them down as well, with the rough sandpaper and the eh, finer sandpaper on the outside. Next up is cleaning the, the inside of the flue. So I've got wire brushes, eh, all sorts of tools to basically scrape that off. So let's go in with it. Right, that gives you an idea of the amount of soot and I don't know if it's sap or whatever that's built up inside that flue, but I mean that was totally, one of them was totally blocked. So, what can I ever give myself carbon monoxide poisoning? <laughs> right, before I start spraying it, I'm going to have to mask off. There's a wee frontier sign at the side. And then you've got the, the frontier wolf emblem at the front. So I'll mask them off first before I start spraying it. Right, that looks good enough to me. I've never met a professional spray painter, but... Good enough. So, let's get to the spraying part. Right, here we go. Oh, that's looking like new already. 
Look at that. Look at the shine on that. Top banana. Right. Oh, that's looking good as new. So the paint's just kind of drying off just now. Uh, obviously I'll peel the, the masking off. So I'm going to do the, the floor parts next. Right, I'm going to do the floor next. So, wee trick. All I've done is I've stuck some stakes into the ground. And that'll basically hold them up so that I can basically spray them. So we'll do them next. Right, job's a good one. So, that's the stove done. More or less dried off already, I think that paint dries quite quick. Uh, the flue bits, they're still drying off. But, smashing. So, they're looking good. Stove's looking brand new. So, next time I use it, it's all cleaned out. All nice and clean. All nice and new looking. But I'm pretty pleased with that. And that didn't take too long to do. That was quite an easy wee job. But you know what they say, you look after your gear, it'll look after you. Right, I think this is a bit dry. So, I'm going to peel this off. Right, that looks not too bad. Oh, jobs are good then. That looks good to me. Right, so that's how to maintain a uh, yeah, wood burning stove. Nothing to it. A couple of bits of sandpaper, uh, one of the wooden blocks, a can of stove paint, buff it down, spray it, boom, job done. So, don't know if anybody else is going to give this a bash. I'm quite sure there's other folk have done it. Uh, I did actually watch another guy doing it, so that's just what I'm going to do it tonight. Uh, but it, it really is, that's that one good as new. So, that's good, so I'm looking forward to using that again. Uh, so, like I said, mine's the Anavi Frontier stove. I don't know if you watched any of my last videos, but if you ever want to buy one of these uh, for Anavi, you can get 10% off it uh, with my discount code, and that's Con, uh, sorry, Scottish, Scottish Wild Camper. So if you stick that in, uh, when you're going to buy it, you'll get 10% off it. Right, but I was just lucky. I get, I get sent it for, for nothing. But I've had some great use out of this, especially if you've got a hot tent. Uh, these wood burning stoves are brilliant and they're, they're about 10 times more efficient than a, just seen like an open fire. I'm not joking, you'll be lucky. I'm lucky if I use half a bag of kindling and half a bag of logs if I buy what wood burning logs. Or you can buy these sawdust logs as well. But very, very efficient. But, like I say, I'm very pleased. I think I've done a good job of that. Give myself a pat on the back. So, hopefully, anybody else who's got one, you'll, you'll go out and give that a bash. Like I say, it's no harm. And, like I say, that's looking kind of brand new. I only sprayed that about, what, 10 minutes ago, and it's dry. That's it, actually, the whole thing's. Both things dry. So, ideal. So, hope you liked the wee video. Uh, if you did, if you don't mind, give us a wee like. Uh, if you liked the video, like I say, hit that thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you hit the wee subscribe button. Right, because there'll be plenty more videos coming. Uh, wild camping, campfire cooking, uh, bushcraft, you name it. 
I'll, get, I'll, I'll try anything. But for this one, it was just a wee overview of how to basically maintain your wood burning stove. So, I hope you liked it. Uh, oh, don't forget, hit, hit the bell for future notifications as well. Just, just about forgot that. But, done a good job with it. Uh, uh, marks out of 10, comments below. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.